Another example of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is that we can have uncertainty in the energy of, let's say, a photon. And as an example, let's say we have a laser. The laser shoots out a beam, but a very, very short beam. In other words, with very quick fingers, we turn the laser on, we turn the laser back on, and we, let the, we leave the laser on for a period of 1 times 10 to the minus 14 seconds. So you do have to be really fast. And a small little piece of a beam comes out of the laser, and let's say that the uh, wavelength of that light coming out of the laser it has a wavelength of 650 nanometers. And uh, let's say that we're now trying to find the energy of each of the photons within that, that small piece of a beam. Uh, so we're trying to find the uh, energy of a photon. And normally we'd say hey, that's not a problem because we know the energy is equal to h times the frequency, which means it's equal to h times c over lambda. Remember that, of course, the speed of light is equal to the frequency, frequency times the wavelength. So we can say that that uh, f can be written as c over lambda, so instead of f we write c over lambda. And plugging in the numbers that we have, this is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds, multiply it times the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and then divide all that by lambda, and we said lambda was 650 nanometers, like so, and as before, we should get this as the energy of that photon, 6.626 e to the 34 minus uh, times 3 e to the 8, and divided by 650 e to the 9 minus, and so that would be energy of 3.058 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, and of course, if you want to convert that to electron volts, uh, one electron volt is equal to uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So we take that, divide by 1.6 e to the 19 minus, and we get 1.91 electron volts. All right, however, since this is a, a photon, and we're trying to find the energy of photon within a small beam like that, that has a duration of only one times 10 to the minus 14 seconds, we are going to have some uncertainty about the energy of that photon. And so using the Heisenberg uncertainty principle equation right there for energy and time, let's solve this for the uncertainty in the energy. So we can say that the uncertainty in the energy is equal to, uh, well, we want to find the limit. So we set it equal to h bar over 2 times the uncertainty in the time. So the uncertainty in time is, of course, the length of that pulse right there. So this would be equal to h bar, which is 1.055 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. Divide that by two times the uncertainty in the time, which is one times 10 to the minus 14 seconds. And let's see what we get for the uncertainty in the energy. So we have 1.055 e to the 34 minus. Uh, divide that by two and divide that by one e to the 14 minus equals, and we get 5.275 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. Of course, converting that to electron volts. We have one electron volt divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, so divided by 1.6 e to the 19 minus equals, and we get 0 0.033 electron volts. So that's the uncertainty in the energy of this photon in that small uh, portion of a beam of light. <clears throat> so as a percentage, so divide that by 1.91, and that would be 1.7%. So the uncertainty in this case would be 1.7% of the total energy. And that's how we find the uncertainty in the energy of a photon in this particular example.